name is Jun Hong Cheng, and I'm a professor of mechanical engineering and material science and engineering at the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee. And I'm also the director of the National Science Foundation Industrial University Cooperative Research Center on Water Equipment and Policy. So this perspective article uh, summarizes the recent advancement in the hybrid nanomaterial field, particularly graphene nanocrystal hybrid structures. These materials will be able to lead to lithium ion batteries with a higher energy density and a longer life cycle, and uh, gas sensors with uh, better selectivity, and water sensors that can detect contaminants in water in a real-time fashion, and uh, solar cells, photovoltaic solar cells that can convert sunlight into electricity at low cost. The co-authors of this paper are Dr. Su Mao Cui and Dr. Sun Mao, who are postdocs in my group, and Dr. Gan Hua Lu, who was my uh, former PhD student and now an assistant professor of mechanical engineering at the University of Alaska, Anchorage. The most exciting work I did during that time is the development of a technique called electrostatic direct assembly uh, to deposit nanocrystals onto carbon nanotubes or graphene to form hybrid nanostructures. My group has been focusing on this uh, nanocarbon, nanocrystal hybrid nanomaterials over the past uh, eight or nine years. Initially, we started with uh, carbon nanotube nanocrystal structures. More recently, we have been working on the graphene nanocrystal uh, structures. This is a very unique material. I actually have a model here. Um, assuming this is a piece of uh, graphene sheet, and we can coat nanoparticles on the surface of this graphene sheet. Uh, so you, you are looking at a model like a nanocrystal sitting on top of a layer of graphene sheet. So what's unique about this structure? It has a very high uh, specific surface area, high mechanical strength, and more importantly, electrons can transport very efficiently through this material. So our vision is to combine this graphene sheet with nanocrystals of different materials to uh, form this uh, synergistic structure. Uh, I call it hybrid nanostructure. For this structure, actually we could utilize not only the unique properties of nanocrystals and those of graphene, but also additional properties due to the interaction between the nanocrystal and the graphene. Higher energy density can allow us to use a battery for a longer period of time. Better cycle performance can lead to a battery with a longer lifetime. So we can produce sensors with high selectivity. There's uh, tin oxide nanocrystals coated on this reduced graphene oxide sheet. We show this material shows a better sensitivity for nitrogen dioxide than for ammonia. So this particular hybrid structure is selective, more selective towards uh, nitrogen dioxide. And further, we try to dope the tin oxide nanocrystals with indium. Uh, again, place this indium doped tin oxide nanocrystals on the surface of the reduced graphene oxide. We can produce an even better selective uh, nitrogen dioxide sensors. The other important application of this hybrid structure is for real-time water sensing. Most importantly, this sensing platform is really fast. We can see the results in seconds. So that provides a uh, unique opportunity for real-time detection of uh, bacteria or uh, heavy metal ions in flowing water continuously. There are challenges in the research on graphene nanocrystal hybrids. Now, to overcome these challenges, we need a lot of innovative efforts. For example, uh, developing new synthesis methods that can uh, manipulate and engineer the hybrid structure with atomic precision, and the use of uh, advanced techniques uh, to obtain further knowledge about the hybrids and their uh, practical operation conditions. So our goal is really to develop something that is uh, cheap enough so that we can uh, enable a large-scale deployment. 
And uh, some of the devices we're developing right now are potentially scalable and uh, cost effective. So overall, the device cost will be uh, uh, very low. We are looking at probably uh, $10, $20 a piece at a large uh, scale.